Hey, what's up sluts and mutts? Today's uh, gonna be a special, solitary, intimate little experience. I was gonna show you guys how to eat ramen noodles like a savage, but I'm gonna save that for Thursday night when I'll have a guest here with me. So today, we're gonna drink Hog Heaven Dry Hopped Barley Wine Style Ale. It's brewed in Boulder, Colorado by Avery Brewing Company, and it is 9.2% alcohol by volume, and it's 22 ounces. I got this specially from uh, someone down in San Antonio, my hometown. Picked it up where there is a larger selection of booze, along with a bunch of others that I'll be trying soon. I'm trying to get, I do not want foil in my beer. I hate foil. Gotta hate foil. <laughs> I get the chills thinking about it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Ooh. Doesn't smell too good. Anyway, we're going to talk mostly about Ant-Man. Oh. Look at that. Ant-Man came out uh, last Friday, and this review is a little overdue. I watched it Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember. Wednesday. I, I attended a screening of it Wednesday. That's going to overflow. So hoppy. Oh, it's like an orange peel. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I attended a screening of it Wednesday. Man, was I surprised. Lesser known hero uh, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But man, this is probably the best standalone Marvel movie since the first Iron Man. And a lot of people be like, well, Iron Man wasn't that good. Well, I didn't like the Avengers as much as I did other Marvel movies. To me, Personally, I think Captain America Winter Soldier is the best Marvel movie to date, but Ant-Man definitely gives it a run for its money. You should see it, and you should not drink this beer. Belgian dip. Ugh. Oh, that's not good. Ah, ooh, it's like really fucking hoppy. So hoppy. Hog Heaven. Hog Heaven dry hopped barley wine style ale. <laughs> Ooh. So back to Ant-Man. Paul Rudd has finally come into his own. I really think that this, this, he was great in the Apatow movies and he's great as a comedic actor and he's great as a romantic comedy actor. But man, this is the role that he's been needing, I think, to really launch his career and he nails it. It's such a good portrayal of Ant-Man. Oh. The only qualm I kind of have with this movie is the first 30 or so minutes are really kind of choppy and you can't really get the feeling of where it's going. But then when he finally gets the suit in the movie, the mo when he finds the suit, the movie really gets its stride and gets up and going and makes you feel like it's moving and going somewhere. I'm talking in circles because this beer is nasty. But yeah. It's been a hot week. It's been really fucking hot. I went out to the lake and I got this sunburn. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I'm wearing my fancy v-neck. Oh. Thanks for watching the uh, Everclear and Sardine Challenge, which was utterly fucking disgusting. The Everclear wasn't so bad, but the sardine hit my lips. The Tabasco got in there, and I don't like fish to begin with, so the whole... <coughs> Oh, just thinking about that makes me sick. This is like heaven compared to that. Ugh, I think. Very, very hoppy. Definitely hoppy. Oh, got a big fight card coming up this Saturday. UFC on Fox, Dillashaw versus Burrow 2 for the Bantamweight Championship of the World. Uh, I'm excited for it. The first fight was a big surprise. Dillashaw dethroned Hennem Burrell, who was at the, at the time considered to be one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Now, I don't know how this one will go. If I had to pick, I'd pick Dillashaw again. 
So let's go with Dillashaw. I say Dillashaw decision. Uh, well, we'll see. Don't 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 bet on me. You know what I mean? 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 Just kidding. Fuck that. I do have some fancy, fancy uh, Mexican tequila that was brought across the border by some family friends and given to me, or given to my cousin who shared it with me. Delicious tequila. Probably the best tequila I've ever had. Hard to find though. I bet, because you can only get it in Mexico. And I don't even know if they sell it everywhere down there. <sighs> Sorry guys. Having a hard time with this beer. Getting a little low though. I think I might be able to kill it. I just need to see what time I'm at. I'm at six minutes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to wrap this Mickey Ficky down. <sighs> Looking forward to the weekend. Three days away. Do you want to see Ant-Man? Are you going to see Ant-Man? If you have any of those things, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you thought. I loved it. Personally, this beer was 22 ounces. I'd give it 20 of those ounces up. Ant-Man is definitely worth a watch. Definitely worth taking your kids to. It's family friendly. It's a whole lot of fun. It's funny. It's action packed. And there's some other aspects to the movie that are surpri done surprisingly well. I loved it. I'm gonna kill this, and kill that, and kill you with my fucking handsome smile. Boom! Ah. Hog Heaven Bavarian Style Ale. Don't recommend it, unless you're a fan of that kind of shit. Oh, really nasty. Anyway, make sure you... Make sure you walk slow. And drink lots of water, sluts and mutts. Fuck off.